Legends, why am I having so much fun in this game? I'm having hell of this bad stuff to do in this game, and I, I greatly underestimated um, how good it was originally. It's actually pretty good. So, let me snatch this up real quick. Um, so, what we're going to do is, for one, you guys just ran up into the guild. Like, I just opened it and said, whoever want to join can join. And then look at these people. I thought I was playing a lot. They was like, nah, you ain't playing a lot. Look at him over 25 doing his thing. So, proud of y'all. Proud of y'all. Um, first of all, we are Guild Elites. We we're pretty good on that. So, you see right here as you, um, donate and bring things in you can actually have a summon the special summon is for whatever reason the cola nobody wants her so whatever to that we just have a new banner that came up now which is maki and maki some bs she can constantly keep attacking which is like insanity and then she has the um when she dies the damage like she i don't understand like she, she's just so good for no reason. You see, chance to trick a combo. Heaven help you if she double attacks and does a two hit twice. Like in PvP, that I can just see the ridiculousness of that. I really shouldn't even be summoning for this character because I need an AOE character, but you know she's good. And I'm still trying to get Fendeva. As you can see, you know, curses all enemies, um, takes damage. I want her, but also want Mackie. So I might just summon on both banners for the video. We, we might just do that. I'll try one on both. I've, I've been in Fenevis banner for like nine summons and we freaking got the other girl and not her. There's a team, most everybody's 45 right now, except for um, Tiffany. Uh, I'm just not with Ashwela. <laughs> I'm just not with it. I don't like the way she looks. I don't like her kit. I'm probably, so I'm sure somebody out, out there be like, she's the best thing since sliced toast. I'm sure you think that, but yeah. So Arena is now open and Arena, okay. Arena is kind of interesting because you technically don't have to watch. We hit that fast challenge real quick. Bam, give me that. You just even gotta watch. You just fast challenge. All I did was fight one time. I'm not even gonna fight that over 20 because it, I probably won't even win. Nah, I ain't gonna be no punk bitch. I'm gonna fight him. See? <laughs> I gave away one of my tries. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna get yourself to, um,. This reward, um, the reward level of winning 10 times. That's challenge. So, don't be prideful. And if you run into somebody who's a little bit stronger, you can win a little bit stronger fights, but what you gotta do is you gotta manual that. Um, there's no way that I'm gonna be the 24. And I probably could beat that 20, but I don't want to spend the time on that. And I also can actually bring somebody else in, but I don't have enough total energy yet. Which is probably how um, that guy is at the 24,000, because that, that seems like another 4,000 for one more character. So we're probably the same strength. And the same thing with um, this level 20 person right here. They probably are using R characters, and I didn't build up any R characters. I was building up SRs and SSRs, so 
I don't really have an R character to bring in right now that's going to be of use. So just keep that in mind when you're going in there at level 20. Now they also have, it's in trials right, Exploration. Exploration is actually kind of interesting because it's different from the normal game. Uh, let's see here. What's that? See, so you can auto AFK it. However, can I just put that? There we go. That's a new SR. Maybe it's just for that mode. Um, let's see here. Who do we want to take out? Uh, choose you. You see, I actually did end up using uh, Ri and bringing her in. Okay, so the way that this works is it is an exploration mode, and you can run around this exploration mode and find individual items. And the thing is, you actually want to run around. It's kind of like an RPG mode. You want to fight these guys? Is they don't take long to actually fight at all. He is so good. This is so good. Alright, bring this down. I actually have to set this up. We, we, we've been slacking on setting this up. One second, guys. Let me... Uh, let me close that. And bring this up. I don't want to use... Mouse. I mean, I don't want to use controller for this. That's ridiculous. And do I have to cut this off? I think I do. This is not even working. Whatever. Whatever you say, game. Now. What you want to do is you want to keep continuing to explore this. It does have a story mode, basically. Uh, thanks, Frantiva. Frantiva doing Frantiva things. Now, the one thing I find interesting in games, um, quick story time. Whenever I show you guys dark skin characters that are actually good, there's always somebody in the comment section it was like, the character's not good. Bruh. Literally, Frantiva carries. She literally carries. She, like, tanks in one shot. I don't understand how somebody could even come close to saying that this character is not good, other than she's a dark-skinned character. And that seems to keep happening. Oh, I don't have any of those. Alright, let's see if there's anything else I can do here, which doesn't look like it. The Cheshire Cat is kind of just... A troll. I don't even want to talk there. Let's kill this giant hammer, Sarah. But almost every game, the same thing like with Azor Lane. With Azor Lane with South Dakota. People were like, South Dakota is kind of whack. I'm like, are you freaking serious? For some reason, gaming culture does not like dark-skinned female characters. Like, they like looking at them, but actually using them, they don't like doing it. And there's always somebody talking crap about them. So, I don't know what that is. Like, technically it is racism, but... I think that's, um... It's the it's the the negative thought on the symbol of the dark skin character because I don't understand it because I started to notice it this year more so and I started to look back at other times when there was other dark skin characters in games and how people act towards them and you start to look at tier list of things in games where you would look at characters and like no this character isn't that bad people would still say it's trash if you notice. People did that in Epic 7 with the tank character, and she had to be overwhelmingly broken to the point where people stopped saying that, and then they nerfed her. Um, I'm forgetting her name, but you guys know what I mean, the Dark Elf Girl. 
if you guys remember in the beginning, I was one of the people saying this character kind of broke. She kind of good, and everybody like she sucks. She ain't that good. And I'm like, what the hell y'all talking about? She she kind of good. Kind of broke. They're gonna nerf her, and people got mad when I said that she gonna get nerfed. It's like, why are you giving the company an idea? Like she broke it. She gonna get nerfed. She has like an infinity in PVP. Like. You <laughs> like you can't be serious right now but even then with a with a sexy dark skin thick black character no dark elf people were still on the oh she's not that good and I'm like the same thing um in this game for Antiva I, two people like you, you can't be serious this is a freaking dragoon all right Rainbow dice. Uh, give me that. What you want to do is you no. What you would want to do is you want to get to the hundred percent. I think it's the ninety, and when you get the ninety, you can auto it. And the reason why you want to do that is because this is where gear drops. I also have to pay attention to my uh, my overall HP health because that drops as I fight. And I think I may not have I may not get any of the story because I did the story in here already. So this might just be the roam around. I wish you could just skip this, see how. Like the minute this girl attack anything, like if it's a boss, she she damn near takes all their life. If it's a normal mob, they're dead. So I'm like, bro, oh, give me that carrot. That's health. Give me that. Hey, come here, bad temp. Oh, we we are getting this story. So the point is to chase after Anna because she's supposed to be like Alice, and that because this is supposed to be a spoof of Alice in Wonderland. No, why do you call her out? Um, am I gonna have to control this? Waste some time. Alright, so we have 55% right now. I wanna get it to the point where I can just auto this, so I'm just gonna kill everything. Nice, I'm just gonna kill everything in the path. I was like, really not wanting to, to use this character, but she's good too. Over there. So after we get out of here, we're gonna uh, we're gonna summon on Maki and Finneva. Hopefully, get one of them. So again, the reason why I'm doing this is we're after. Of course, it gives it actually gives a good deal um, of gold and shards too. But we're after gear. I think I have to get the ninety percent. Might be 80, but let's, let's, let's just be sure at 90. He lived. And technically, um, Prantiva, I think she's a Jaru, which, which means that she isn't a, a true dark skin character. She just has a tan. Cause she looks like one. And when you talk to her, she um and her storyline, she's actually she actually talks like what do and acts like it. Kind of tomboyish. It's, it's kind of cute too. 
I watched a boss almost one shot themselves. <laughs> um trying to kill my tank because he has a uh, he has a diva that will make him um send back the damage that is done to him. And the boss like almost obliterated themselves and I was like, okay. Well, give me that stage. That um, probably don't need this, but let's eat it anyway. We're at 86% right now. Um, that's just a frog. Um, that's the the last boss story thing. Maybe that's it. I don't see anything else. We'll call him out. Poor Timmy. The cool thing also is that after you get it to a certain point, oh, that's a waste certain point with strength your main character starts taking that like starts you know taking an interest in the fight all right so she's gone um i should be over 90 oh that's 100 percent we're done so here's gear as you can see this is why you want to come in here because this is a good source of place places to get gear we even got some good currency we got a vent currency right here, a challenge ticket. So you definitely want to run up in there. All right, so let's summon. Let's I don't think we got anything hot. Pan. Okay, she's new. What do you do? I keep forgetting it doesn't do that. Alright, so again, we're going after Fenebeth. Come on, game. Damn. They was like, hold these SRs real quick, but we're probably not going to get it. I'm probably going to have to build her. Yeah, I'm probably end up. That's probably what's going to end up happening. Let's go get the currency for the new character. We're gonna have to build her. Sad days. I love how they just give you currency right back. Uh, so this is you have gear. Um, we're, we're using. Your lens. Let's snatch that. Um, I don't have her, so let's go with her. I think we have the lens for her too. Yep. Oh, uh, 
I just like how the game just rewards you for playing. Like, oh, you playing? We're gonna give you free stuff. That's how that works. Yep, so I think that's it. We don't have anything else left to do or left to get. I don't think I can summon anymore because I'm just underneath it. Um, I might be able to? Let's see. No. I have these tickets solo. We'll get a skip on that. And I actually, um, the first 20 is a guaranteed SSR, but it's not her, which is interesting. First guaranteed up partner? What the heck is an up partner? Is that, does that mean you are? Because if that means you are, then I'm just going to sit in that banner like forever, which it probably does mean you are. Because I, like, what is she supposed to be? There's some people here that are looking impressive, so we'll see. We'll see. We'll try again later. So I will catch you guys next video. Be legendary. See you soon. And good luck to you on your summons. And let me know if you're playing, if you're rocking it out. This game is actually, like the music, everything is just really well polished, everything just looks good all the way around. You should try it out, have some fun with it, and yeah, so I'm going to keep playing it along with, you know, Exos and along with um, Genshin. Uh, Genshin's at the point right now where it's stopping you from playing though. I'm at that point. Now where you're just gonna just be running around with treasure chests and stuff like that. And that's good because you don't need to be playing that all day anyway. So peace. See you soon.